Good morning. Today is Thursday, January 21st, 2021. Please join me and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Happy birthday today to Addison Hackett, Caitlin Huang, Tessa Nykirk, and Isabella Ravens. Hope you all have great birthdays today. Just a reminder that midterms for K-5 will be January 25th. So next week, K-5, you will be halfway through your second trimester. A reminder, students and parents, we still have a lot of hybrid students that are not filling out the daily certification. These emails are going out each day with a link right to it. You need to sign into your PowerSchool and check that in. Please make sure you do that. That is part of the agreement to attending hybrid learning. So if you are not uh, consistently checking in, we will be calling and making sure that you have all the correct information. We really need to do that so it really expedites our morning and allows us to get right to learning and we don't have to wait for kids to be certified by our staff. We thank you for your cooperation. Some exciting news. You'll notice I'm wearing my Morris Brave shirt today because due to the drop to tier one mitigations, we will be able to start some of our junior high sports. So the, reading, the medium risk sports, volleyball, will get to start on Monday and they will have tryouts. So girls volleyball tryouts will be Monday and Tuesday. And then they will start practicing and have games starting in early February. So we're very excited to have the volleyball players back on the court. Basketball is allowed to begin practice. So we will start an open gym type practice. They are allowed to scrimmage each other as long as you're from the same school. So we are excited to get some basketball practice in. And obviously if things change, we'll move forward. So again, some exciting times ahead for the volleyball and basketball teams. We had a lot of great answers for our question yesterday. If you remember, the question was, what was the inauguration date before it changed to the January date in 1937? I had some people that said April 30th, which is not the correct answer, but April 30th was the first inauguration day when President George Washington. But the Constitution actually set the date to March 3rd. So March 3rd was the original election day, and this was back in the day when it took longer to count things. It took longer for the candidate to actually get to Washington to be inaugurated. And then with the advances in 1937, they moved it to the January 20th date. We had 52 correct answers, so nice job doing your research, guys. But when we drew the name out of the hat, we drew Brisa Garcia. So Brisa, congratulations. You won a gift certificate to Barnes & Noble. Also, Delaney Dworak, Camden Robinson, and Leah Lowry. You also won from last our last uh, survey. So we will be getting those uh, to you tomorrow. So that way you can look for some great books with a Barnes & Noble gift card before you head into the weekend. That's all the announcements we have for today. But let's remember our Morris motto to be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Have a great day, everyone.